Hello and welcome to the latest edition of What Did I Miss? And I can tell you right now, a lot. That's the teaser. And I can say this as well. A lot of football happened yesterday. Now, I know what happened because of my fantasy football um, presence, I suppose. And I'm on the brink of losing my first game of the season in my ladies league. And I'm not real happy about it. So, Mr. Jacobs, if you're listening for tonight's game, I'm going to need 15.7 points out of you. Thank you so much. Um, But we start with breaking news, I guess, out of the league. Another coach has failed his way in a multi-millionaire unemployed status. Matt Rule, step on up, ladies and gentlemen. A one and four start gets you about 40 mil. Man, I love America some days. We should all be On so Canadian lucky. Thanksgiving. I, right? This is the greatest scam going in modern history is the coaching game. College, pro, whatever. All you have to do is sign that paper. And the minute you sign that paper, who gives a shit? what you do because you're going to get your money and I am there are not groups of people I'm envious of more than I am coaches in America do you see something wrong with this system <laughs> no, no it seems nothing. like it's working perfectly <laughs> as designed it's like there's no I mean I guess pride would be the one incentive perhaps and not suck it up but really, if you're telling me I can go out there and shit the bed week in, week out, and I'm going to, at the end of this shitty-ass rainbow, pocket about 40 mil plus, I have zero incentive. I'm going to party hard every night. I'm going to barely show up to the game on Sunday. I'm going to kind of make eye contact with the team. But really, you guys, you're on your own. You're professionals. You know what you need to do. And then when it's one and four and I get fired, I'm like, cool, sweet. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Where's the incentive here? This has That's to also be... not the end of the story, Beetle. Tell me more. I will, I will bet you every dollar <laughs> I have, which is significantly less than the amount he will get paid for not doing anything. <laughs> Damn it. All my dollars that this all man dollars. will have his choice of elite Shit. college football jobs and or some great coordinator Broadcast. position on oh. a winning team. Good call. Instantaneously. Because I will remind the listener, and I have no idea why we're going to open a show after a pretty fun football weekend with Matt Rule. But but that's what happens because the sports media industrial complex (laughs) has hyped this man. Uh, Yeah, I'm going in. We have hyped this man for multiple years. Remember the offseason of Matt Rule? It went from, who is this guy? I'm sorry, what? A couple years at Baylor after a few years at Temple? And now this guy's just going to get his choice of NFL jobs? Huh? Yeah, that happened. That was a whole off season where everyone was like, oh, man, they want to get their Is hands it? on Matt Rule. They're having an interview with Matt Rule. And all of a sudden, <laughs> hands. He, yeah, they, they get him. He, they're paying him tons of money. He's supposed to turn things around. And now he's fired and excuses are already being made. Oh, he didn't have the quarterbacks. Oh, you know, McCaffrey was injured. A thousand excuses. McCaffrey just lives injured. Out. So that's number one. Yeah, no, you're right. It is a. Well, look, you're talking to two women here and Paige and myself. Um, uh-huh. Men failing up, especially white ones. Nah, this isn't breaking news Tale at all. Tale as old is as it? time. Tale as old as Tale time. As the old sun as will time. come up tomorrow. Another one of these humans mm. will exist. And look, I'm not saying I don't know him from a hole in the ground. I don't know him at I'm all. sure he's fine. I'm sure he's a fine gentleman. Uh, he's a rich one now without having to do shit for shit. And I think we all are coming from a complete and total place of profound jealousy. When we talk about the Matt rules of the world. And you're right. He's although I this is what I don't understand. I would not work again until like I guess if I ran out of the money, although you really shouldn't run out of money at this point. If if that's a lot of money to do with and invest wisely and live out your days. But I guess people get bored and want to go back to some sort of a job. But yeah, no, I'm just I'm going to take that check and (whistles) see ya. I'm going to learn something else. I'm going to learn to fish. I'm going to learn anything else, but I'm not going to coach again. Apparently, he's friends with Kenny Chesney. Maybe he should just go hang out on one of Kenny's islands. No that's choose great, lifestyle. I would do that. That's exa- That's what I would do. I'd be like, Kenny, float me one of your boats. Let's just roll this thing. I'm not, I'm not doing shit. God, I love it. I'm so jealous. Ugh. All right, fine. We're going to talk about football. <laughs> God, they're really... Okay. I don't know where you guys want to start because, I, I, again, like I said, my weekend sort of came and went via my fantasy football lineup. And so that's mm-hmm. how I kept up. So what is your favorite game or, or moment of the weekend? If you had to pick Gabe, you seem more fired up about it than anyone. So, well, I can tell you what my least favorite thing was. Okay. Go. It, it was uh, a sequel. It's actually like the 10th 
um, installment in this franchise known oh, as boy. the league stepping in to make sure Tom Brady gets what he needs. Here we go. Um, <laughs> I, a perfectly normal sack sure. that would look like any other sack in the history of football until this week was <laughs> uh, a penalty for the Falcons, thus basically sealing the game for Tom Brady and the Bucks, who might have blown a game against the Falcons if that had just not been called. Uh, Which would have been huge. Basically, every single person any of us respect on Twitter agreed this was a terrible call that did not need to be made. But it's Tom Brady, and he got tackled kind of hard, so let's make sure we throw some flags. Uh, obviously, a part of this is we just saw what happened to Tua when he right. got slammed to the ground, and I think the officials were especially sensitive, which I am happy about. But the consistent way in which Tom Brady gets bailed out and given extra chances in life drives me effing crazy. Yeah. The trend is now 20 years long, okay? <laughs> He's a good football player. He doesn't need this much help, guys. That's probably what's most alarming is he's a great football player. And I, I, okay, so two things I want to ask. And actually, no, really just one. Do you think that Tom Brady in the privacy of his own home with friends and or family, whatever that consists of, uh, <laughs> with truth serum, would say to you that he likes when these moments happen? Or if he had his druthers, he'd prefer they not give him these types of calls because it's making him look like a big fat wimp he a 100 percent. not only does he like the calls oh, he like he believes he deserves them wow okay he does not think well that doesn't really I, i'm so good i don't want the help i could prove i wouldn't it want myself. it yeah because yeah, you're because you're I don't, not I disagree. a sociopath that's well that's arguable but i think he like, is a sociopath why, Paige? what do you disagree because i think he is a sociopath <laughs> and he's so competitive so he would like want to not get the help gabe is mad because in the presser he said something like uh, I don't throw the flags. I don't throw the flags. Which is true. And what else is he supposed to say there? <laughs> like that's. I mean, I, you could say something like, "Hey, league, I get it. You're this is in the best interest of quarterbacks. I'm a quarterback, but like, given my past and given the rules that have changed around me, uh, maybe we not do that." And but I did hear Ross Tucker talking this morning somewhere, and he was saying that like. On the preseason calls in which they sort of get everyone back ready to go with any rule changes or things that are were being addressed, that the refs were told and repeatedly are told, if there's any doubt at all, throw the flag. Period. Yeah, action bias. Which, just, yeah. But, I mean, it, again, it's because it's Tom Brady in this particular circumstance, and we're probably overreacting a little bit after the Tua situation. It's just, it's just funny because it needs to be Tom Brady. Otherwise, it wouldn't have mattered. Probably no one would have noticed it had right. this happened to us, but it's Tom Brady. And so it makes me happy because <laughs> I know how infuriating that is for people. <laughs> and they could have lost the game, which would have been a big deal as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I, it's weird. It's He doesn't need the help of anyone in this league. It is frustrating as probably a fan or a viewer to be like, that's the guy you're going to help? That one? The one that's like the greatest of all time considered by almost everybody? Doesn't seem right to me, but I knew Gabe was going to hate that. And that's why I'm I hate about it. it. I know. I love it. I love it so much. Paige, did you have a, a particular moment that really stood out for you yesterday? Ooh, um, I liked the uh, tweet from Keenan Allen, who was not playing, <laughs> but was live tweeting at home when the Chargers were playing the Browns and said, Whoops. WTF are we doing? As Brandon Staley made a call to go for fourth and one on their own 46 up to with like a minute over a minute to go. Yeah. But well, I was I would listen to uh, the uh, ESPN Daily this morning. And they were saying that statistically it was the right call, which I find. I was going to say, isn't he married to stats? Like he, that's yeah. his that's yeah. his passion. He's a nerd. Um, unfortunately, stats aren't guaranteed. That's why it's you know from probability. But it's him again. I, do we think he keeps his job past this season? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I do. I do, and I think that people will talk about him as opening next season on the hot seat, but I think he will finish okay. this season as the Chargers coach. So hopefully, but I, I can't get mad at him for the stats thing. Like it's, that is where we are in sports. Like it's, it's, you look at numbers, you have a book that gives you every possible scenario in that moment. And here are the odds about winning the game. So I, it's, I can't get mad, but at the same time, it's, I know how much it infuriates old school. So 
It's like, what are you going to do? You had to do it. He had to do it, but it's just annoying. And can you get in trouble for live tweeting if you're Keenan Allen? I wonder how that works. I mean, like officially, no. But but they'll probably be like, yo. Usually coaches prefer feedback probably in their offices and not on the internet. Undermining the, undermining the entire system from home hmm. is probably not what they wanted. What about the Giants? I'm surprised no one said anything about the Giants in the London. The London Giants? Yeah, the London They're Giants. There. I, oh, let's go work for the Giants. If they move to London, we should all work for the Giants. We do. Because I would like to move to London. And the British fans had the chance down. And that makes me love them even more. It was like, take your cheese and shove it up your ass was basically the gist of their chant. And I thought... A, interesting that they've adopted the Giants in that particular scenario. And B, I want to say this. Brian Dable looks like every dude on Bumble here in South (laughs) Texas. Like every, I'm not joking. I'm going to send you guys screen grabs. Like every single one. And I'm like, what the, what the what? So if you're if you're looking to date someone who can win you the NFC East, <laughs> yes. Bumble's the app for you. Bumble's the app for you. That should be their uh, that should be their ad. Um, I also want to shout out kickers and not, not all of them, but just Justin Tucker. Do we not give him particularly enough play because he's a kicker? Like we don't talk about him the way we talk about other stars in the league. Is is that wrong? Are we wrong? Or is it because he's a kicker and I'm stupid? Yeah, uh, you're you're an F1 person. Do, uh, should we be giving more love <laughs> to the weird. guy who screws the lug nuts into uh, the tires? 100%. We because should, you know what oh. you know what it's happens when that guy screws up? Game. They lose. That's what happens. Yeah. Lug and nut. Just fire him and get a different lug nut guy. <laughs> I'm not, I'm well, I mean that's I happening around the NFL as well, so I don't think that's unique to. Uh, but we shit on kickers all the time and here's one that like literally Delivers. cannot miss. Like cannot miss. So I feel like that maybe we I don't know. I'm sure he likes it that way. He actually has the best of both worlds. You're like a stud in your town. You make decent money, but you can also probably go anywhere you want and nobody knows who you are. It's like the it's most, dream. it's the best case, best case to this scenario. Um, speaking of F1, anybody? I did not watch it. It was like 3 a.m., 2 a.m.? Well, it started 1 a.m. East and Coast. Delays. Well, should have started at 1 a.m. East Coast. It started midnight my time, but it was bad delayed. So we basically were talking for three hours before the race even started. And then they had a 30-minute clock, and it was delayed because of rain. It just never stopped raining in Japan. Um, sure. Then when they did start back up again, we, we had already lost a few cars in the previous rain because it went three laps. At three laps, the thing got delayed forever. And then we had a 30-minute clock. I think it was 30 minutes. It might have been 40. And we had all of these scenarios in which Max Verstappen could possibly be crowned the world champion this past weekend, all of these scenarios were not seemingly going to happen because Charles Leclerc was second, blah, blah, blah. And just when you think you want to bitch about some of our leagues, just remember this moment because it was sloppy and gross and probably needs to be dealt with differently moving forward. But the race ends with Max Verstappen winning, but not winning the world championship, which means happy, happily for all of us, that it was going to go to Austin, where he probably would have had like an amazing championship celebration. But no, within minutes of the race ending, and, and mind you, it's now what, 3.30 in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning here. Um, there's like controversy, like, wait, what? And as the guy's interviewing Max post, he goes, oh, by the way, you're the world champion. That's how it was delivered to the world champion. Of this season. I just uh, love because, Max saying, have I or have I not? Have I won? Yeah, <laughs> no one knew. Christian Horner had no idea that it even was a possibility. And what had happened was, and this is where humans need to sometimes just take a step back. Shaw Leclerc had cut a corner, was penalized five seconds, and then was dropped down to the third place finish. And because the amount of time that had passed was enough to give full points, Max earned the right amount of points to be crowned world champion. That is not how that should have played out. You ignore the penalty, you let the thing lie as it was going to, and you move on to Austin and let the man have a proper celebration, not in the middle of the night in all of the places and just sort of like, did I did I win? I, are we sure I won? Like, I really hope they address it because it's it's like calling a charge in a game seven situation that has way too much meaning. That is not how things should be determined, especially when inevitably he is going to be the world champion. We have four four races left, bro, bro. 
shit yeah. and then all that and then i worked till 4 30 a.m and then i never went to sleep and then last night i went to sleep at 7 30 and then i woke up at 4 30 this morning and it's the most sleep i've had in weeks yeah uh, maybe that's your new thing to not just, sleep for days and days yeah. and days and then just power through a nine yeah, hour nap that's how you get the full <laughs> the full thing i don't know okay here's Go. my question and i was thinking about this and gabe i would okay. like your opinions as a not f1 or a new f1 person we have four races left max yes. has already won the season does that obviously there's money on the line for second, third, below, et cetera. Yeah. Right. So there's still some stakes, but like largely for me, there's a little bit taken out of it, I think. Um, it reminds no, me a little still bit of like college football. It reminds me of well, college football bowl games. Oh, that's, that's what fair. I kept thinking of. That's fair. But it's look, Max is a robot, so he's not going to let up. Number one, the constructors championship and those points, and more importantly, that money, because that's actually where the good money is that's because right. it's for the team it's like tens of millions of dollars at stake for each team um that's still very much in effect um and there is still competitiveness within those ranks and honestly like we knew max was going to win right early on in this season it became very clear how much more he's just dominant but it has not made any of the races less interesting like i think that the second on down has been very fascinating there are still kids that are fighting and driving for potential spots next season you know we've already that's true daniel ricardo has shout out daniel ricardo uh will not have a seat next year in f1 um, so that is some sad breaking news and everyone's sort of just kind of waiting to see what he's going to decide to do in a replacement situation, but yeah, it's, I, I'm still very interested and we can still like Ferrari can still fuck themselves in creative ways that we haven't seen yet. And so I'm also here for that. That's true. Yeah. They've only done it about 10 ways, maybe yeah. 12. Oh, at least 12 more ways. Like, there's definitely mm -hmm. more ways to fuck oneself. I, mm -hmm. yes. Facts. So yeah. So I still, I still think, and it's Austin's next. Like I, I'm just selfishly, I'm just super stoked to go to Austin for a week and act like a dumbass. So yeah, it's, it's going to be good. Um, I feel like, is that everything that happened in football? I, I'm missing something huge, but I don't remember what it was. USC Trojans won again. Who? Saying. Nope, it wasn't that. What else? Oh, okay. oh uh, Texas won big and didn't blow it in the fourth quarter, which I kept waiting on. They're back. Yep, they're back. They're back. They're back. What is his thing? All breaks, no something? I don't know. All, no, not all breaks. All gas, all no gas. breaks? <laughs> <laughs> all breaks, no gas. All breaks, no We're winning. We're not going Whee! anywhere. <laughs> the, the Mets are not back. Dude, we will not talk. That is... An embarrassment. Yeah, yes. Can we save the Mets for the second part? Let's take a break and come well, back. Yes, the Mets, we can, in fact. Yeah, I fucking hate the Mets. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> we are back. We ended with some hatred towards the Mets. I am not going to apologize for that. But they are in the news for all the wrong reasons. Classic Mets. Paige, do you want to kick this thing off mm -mm. while you drink water? Or is this a ventriloquism thing? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, Gabe, you can do this one. I'm Ooh, Gabe Just used to be a Mets fan. I don't think I should do this. I think you should do this. This show needs objective voice. <laughs> okay. Uh, for, okay. For, for okay. Facts. Here goes. Yeah, Gabe and I are sort of ref like reformed Mets fans. Um, I, beat alive. I've seen the bottom with the Mets. I, with yeah. all due respect, I don't think you've ever. No, really, I haven't. Yeah. No. So I, it's this. You're one's definitely harder more. For me to talk about, I think, because it's Go special. Ahead, it's a special. Okay. Fail. Well, we almost had a cheating situation in playoff baseball. We know the Mets lost, but during that game. Uh, the general manager paused, asked to pause the game because he suspected that there was some type of sticky substance on the pitcher's ear. So we had an incredible 10 to 12 minute break where the umpire was just gently touching, massaging. It looked like he was pulling a quarter nice. out of his ear. It was incredible. Um, and oh. the Mets ended up losing. But what's but is the potential ear substance cheating, which I don't I don't I couldn't find anything that that has happened before. I know that people have been caught with substances but not on sticky the subs i mean or the bug gross, vibrator cheating cheating it, it is chess. gabe well how do you blow it like they blew it this year so the cheating thing i think is irrelevant i think that that was it's just was embarrassing just gamesmanship they wanted to throw him off he it probably was hot sauce which like apparent i don't know i've played plenty of baseball i don't remember anyone doing that but it's just to like keep you alert see curb your enthusiasm wait porn what episode, hot sauce yeah, in my I, ear? I it was like icy hot, like that type of thing. Not In my sauce. ear. I'm putting these things yes, in my ears. To make your ear burn to keep you focused, apparently. I, Jesus this Christ, is not something bro. I know a lot about. Some Adderall in your life. That's weird. Go on. Yeah, I test <laughs> you for stuff like that. So I think... Um, oh, prescription. Look, there's a reason why Beatle referred to me as a reformed Mets fan. And it's because I decided long ago, 
four and a half years ago. I am not going to raise my children to be Mets fans because this is hell. And it's the same reason I didn't raise them to be Jets fans. And unfortunately, as October approached, before that Brave series, I was like, it's safe. My son's four and a half now. He can handle it. Let's let's be Mets fans this October. Woo! So we went into this weekend, even after seeing what happened in Atlanta, and we're like, we're Mets fans. And he kept being like, but what about the Dodgers? Can't I be a Dodgers fan? I was like, no, buddy. Oh. We're Mets fans. Why would you do that? Let him choose at least. Because I'm an asshole. You and really I made are. my son put up with that shit. They made my son put up with that shit. And it'll be another decade until they get a halfway decent team good enough to make the postseason to then break our hearts again. But this is just a repeat of everything it is. You you fool yourself some oh. point in the year, every few years with the Mets, and then they just shit the bed the same way every time. But, like, they re- – okay, so correct me if I'm wrong. They won, like, 102 games. They were up 10 and a half games, and then they slowly shit the bed as yeah. the season wind down, find themselves in this position, and now eliminated completely from the playoffs. They were they, the one team that people thought, ooh, they could disrupt the Dodgers. That's right, right, this Mets team? Pretty That's much, because the- they had the arms for idiots. it. idiots. Fucking idiots. That's embarrassing. Yeah. I would rather not even sniff a winning situation than have that happen. Yeah. Because you basically had to not just shit the bed one way. You had to do it in like four different ways, All the ways. to get to this point. And they then on the top parlay. of it, do this. It's just, yeah, the parlay on loserdom. <laughs> that's what, what that's what they have. I that is and you know what really pisses me off the most about it? Is I don't fucking like the Yankees. How are you gonna do this shit in the same town where the Yankees live and own you? Like, come on. You had a really good chance to to make some people happy. You had it all lined up perfectly. You did everything you were... So- and then at the end of it, you stick your fingers in a dude's ear. That's in- that's just embarrassing on top of all of it all. That's just stupid. You look like assholes. You look like Bush League assholes. This is embarrassing. I'm going to keep my Mets hat because you know what? It's hilarious. <laughs> Mets fans, just- celebrity Mets fans, line them <laughs> up next to celebrity Yankee fans. Thousands like Jerry Seinfeld? likable. Yeah. Jerry Se- yeah. Well, just Seinfeld alone. It's that's all it. just tortured comedians and true <laughs> New Yorkers. It's there's no fair way. No one is a Mets fan by choice. So you well, it's just like Jets. Get, yes, you. Which oh, is no. Larry David is our most famous fan. Mm. After Our. You, Beetle. No, I prefer Our. Seinfeld. I prefer Seinfeld. Uh, no, right. you're right. It's embarrassing, but uh, you know, whatever. It's all right. That's all right. I'll keep it moving. I'll keep it moving. What else? God, just get the fucking Mets. Uh, th- I mean. I'm starting to scan this next story, and I'm just going to skip it for mood purposes. We'll Good come call. Back to that. Probably right. Um, so it's too many words. So apparently Mookie Betts bowled a perfect game. Nice. Uh, on his 30th birthday. Of course. So if given the right amount of coaching or <laughs> cocaine, I guess I'll add, <laughs> do you think you're more likely to get a hit off an MLB pitcher or bowl a perfect game? And I've why would seen coaching you help? Like, why? Cocaine would saying, help me more okay, than coaching. In this I wrote this. Scenario. My point is that, like, if you are given, like, you you tr- you trained for this, one of these, you put the time in. This is not just like you're doing it tomorrow. This is like a year from now after like it could daily just practice. be I do it tomorrow. It'd probably be the same. Sure. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Do you think I am more likely to get a hit off of an MLB pitcher or bowl a perfect game? Not a home run, just a hit. I think I can get a hit. 100%. Actually, I know Same. I could. Yeah. Bowling a perfect game, I think the best I've ever done is like 150, and I don't even think that's true. That's probably a lie. So, yeah. And no. But 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 getting a hit, I just need him to have one shitty pitch. That's it. One Inaccurate. bad one. No, what are you talking about? Strong disagree. How? You think you bowl a perfect game before the- you get a hit off a pitcher? Yes. And I've played some baseball, and I, I'm certain the answer is bowling. Because mm. the the pins can't, like, change where they're placed if they see that I'm starting to get hot. The pitcher is that. just going to be like, oh, wait a minute. She actually isn't looking totally absurd when I throw a fastball. Here's a curveball. It'll be another 100 pitches before she feels comfortable in the batter's box. <laughs> You think the pins are just sitting? There. No, I've trained for no. this moment though. I have. Too. I have Do you know how good I am? At- Gabe, did we never go to ga- uh, batting cages in our previous life together? Because uh, I feel like you would remember that. No, if but you I've did. seen you bowling. Right, and so my batting way better than my bowling, way better. Okay, 
I feel I confident think in that it. Your bowling's fine. I wasn't thinking there's anything wrong with your bowling. So now imagine the batting, how much better the that ba- is. Again, the batting cage, what did you <laughs> have it throw you 40 mile an hour? That's cute. No, 60. I've done 60 and 70. I'm 60. telling you, I could do it. I, I just need one. I just need one mm-hmm. pitch that falls in the right spot in the right moment. That's it. I think the odds of that are far greater than me bowling. A, per- a perfect game is so freaking hard. Is so someone hard. backing up a car yeah. into one of your homes? That's, yes, Not my that's home. the sound of a truck coming to back up and offer Beetle a chance to redo <laughs> this whole take. Just back <laughs> no. it up, Beetle. I no. it. Rethink this whole take. thing. If you're an MLB pitcher out there, or you know one, and he's got a couple hours to spare, let's make this happen. Let's just do it. We don't even need an MLB pitcher. Just an average <laughs> high school kid would be fine. Fine. The Bring on your school. stupid little no, high school boys. College. Let's go. College. Fine. I don't care. You bring whoever you want. I feel good about this. Mm-hmm. Real good. Uh, no, wooden bats? Are we doing wooden bats? We are. Right? I, I, we yeah. Have... Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Wooden bats? <laughs> what, <the> f- <laughs> what? I need to make sure I know the rules before I get ready. If you made this. Ding! Uh, are we doing put those? the ball in play. <laughs> Just put the ball in fair in play, then easily <laughs> fielded and thrown out. If you made it just that, ball in Fine. play versus Easy. perfect game, it's a 50-50 call for me. Well, you're wrong. This is why you're not good at stats. It's way, way greater than that. But you know what? Let, we're never going to know until we get a chance to make it happen. So this could be our next wish, and let's see if we can get it to, to occur. Right. Good luck. I'm, gonna, okay. I'm not going to mute. I'm going to let this garbage truck... Yes. Be a part of the podcast because that yes. last take was such garbage. You know As what? you would say, that's good production. Thank Great. You. Great Thank job. You. Okay, Beetle, the 2029 Asian Winter Games. Emphasis Amart- on winter here. The location's been selected. Which Great. country is hosting? Take a guess. Is this, is this a trick question? I swear to fucking God if it's China. No. Well, then I don't know. Singapore? No. Oh, oh. No, the, I'm sorry. That was really, you were excited. It's not. I mean, how many? How uh, Japan? It's Saudi Arabia. We're having the Winter Games in the desert. Is, enough what? is enough. That's Why? It. First of all, 2029—that's optimism. None of us will be here. But secondly, <laughs> why do we continue? to reward places that we don't need to reward with these monster, global, billion dollars making fucking places. Like, why can't we get a long master list of countries that we all agree on that we're like, we like them, we don't have huge fundamental differences, uh, they're lovely to travel to and from, they've got the accommodations, the athletes enjoy going there, and then we just pick and choose and rotate from that list. Why in the fuck do I have to keep doing this? Like, I'm already pissed about the World Cup. I'm going to watch it, because I love it, but why? 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 Oh, because complete and total corruption. That's right. I forgot. You know, I hope the whole world's gone by 2029. I'm sick and fucking tired of this bullshit. Let's all just be dead. And then we don't have to worry about who gets the Asian Winter Games. This is what stupid. Did I miss? Suicide Pact. Yeah! Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, it's, it's dark. bad vibes. A lot of Olympians, a lot of athletes are coming out. Um, oh. uh, and, and Why? They're very mad about it. They're very but of course mad. they're mad about it. This is such bullshit. There are so many nations or groups of nations, if you want to kind of make these cool. I, I, my God. And what's wrong with having everything in Paris for the rest of our lives? Let's just do that. May <laughs> I offer Canada as a Canada. games option? Very Thank nice. you. Various African nations, various European nations, sure. uh, South and, and North America. No. Fucking China and Saudi Arabia over and over again. Fuck. Oh, and Russia. I'm sorry. I forgot. I forgot about Russia. Can I, this is ridiculous. Uh, can I just ask a point of order here? Uh, I guess. I'm not. This is not a politically charged question. Uh, how are they doing winter sports in Saudi Arabia? Opposite. What? I don't know. Uh, I think they're. I'm building, not even asking the easier facilities. question. They're that's building easy- shit. They're going to make shit happen. Like, that's the other thing. It's not a naturally occurring place that you would want winter games. So we're going to spend hundreds of millions of dollars to create indoor shit in Saudi Arabia. That's exactly right. So they can host an Asian winter (laughs) games. It's not even the Olympics. It's just for Asia. I mean, yeah, it's the 12. Okay. This is ridiculous. Double logic. 
Hosts are becoming harder to find than snowstorms in the Arabian desert. For those willing to undertake the task, the appeal of this, blah, blah, blah. Why would you do this? It's awful for our sport, said Olympic downhill silver medalist Johan Clary. I mean, this is... Mm-hmm. They hosted the qualifying slalom, slaloms, slaloms for the Slalom. Beijing Winter Olympics in a refrigerated dome of a huge shopping mall with the temperature outside being 30 degrees Celsius. This is fucking stupid. It's dystopian. This is stupid. And it's disrespectful to the athletes who literally spend their entire lives for these types of moments. And, and instead we're like, here, why don't you go compete in a refrigerator that we just built in the middle of the goddamn desert for no reason. Other than corruption. Ah, whatever. Why am I even mad? I don't care. It's not like I'm going to watch a single minute of it. But I guess that's the point, isn't it? Well, the other bummer thing was that it's now being speculated that part of the reason for hosting these is that they are working with, I think, Egypt and Greece, maybe, to put together a World Cup bid. So they're being very open about, like, look how we can host these so then we can host the real thing that we want, which is the World Cup. No. I Mm -hmm. say no. Enough. World Cup should be in places where every, Greece. I'm not even sure facility wise where, where the hell we're going with that for a World Cup. Like, do you know how many people descend upon an area for the World Cup from all over the world? Like, what? This is ridiculous. All right, next. Why am I even mad? Oh my god, I need food. You haven't slept, <laughs> or you slept too much? No, I slept too much. I slept it's too much. Right. It's sleep. It's sleep. Damn it. Um. I'm going to pick around here. Well, I mean, we're already sorted <laughs> down. I don't know if this is going to bring us up or down further. Here goes. Down further. No. Um, down well, further. So the commander's running back, Brian Robinson, who was uh, shot just a few weeks ago uh, in a carjacking incident, apparently. Mm-hmm. Uh, he made his on-field debut yesterday to the 50 Cent song, Many Men. And hmm. that made a lot of people very happy. He seemed like he's going to be fine. And uh, I, apparently that song has a great deal of significance to the situation. Don't ask me to explain it. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> would you like to try? <laughs> yeah, Paige, you're young. Do you know why? Yeah. It, 50 Cent very famously was shot nine times. His yeah. whole like first album, Get Rich or Die Trying, is about that. And I believe the lyrics of Many Men are like, Many Men Wish Death Upon Me or something. Damn. Uh, yeah, dark. So that's anyway, it. It's, that's it's it. right as that's super. Dark. I thought there was a deeper meaning to... That no, song, it's very on the nose. Right there for everyone to get. Well, it sure is. I, I read can... into it and thought, well, surely it's more complicated than just both guys had been shot in the past. But that's basically no. what it is. Can I? Uh, can I be a dick? I'm gonna yeah. be. A dick. Of course. What has Do stopped many... you before? Well, because uh, some antics. And look, I'm going to preface it by saying this is a hell of a story, and I'm sure he has an outlook on life that most of us wish we could have for the rest of his days. But <sighs> do many men want Brian Robinson dead? Or did maybe one or two just accidentally shoot him? I, it wasn't I think a targeted the, assassination attempt. It was a we carjacking. I don't think we know, but it do, it doesn't seem like it, and he shouldn't welcome that if that's what it was. No. No. That's brutal. But I, it was a hell of an entrance. I will say that. Um, also, because who the hell thought he would be coming back out six weeks later? Here's a crunchy question for that story. Okay. Crunchy question. Nice. Nice. Quincy this will be good. Question. Oh, sure. Now we're back. Theme song. Uh, <laughs> and as usual, I'll just be reading this verbatim. Oh God. A kid ran onto the field during the Bucks versus Falcons game and got crammed. Got crammed. What lesson was the parent teaching by allowing this, Michelle? Mm. These are great parents, Noted actually. Parent expert. I am parent a parent expert because I know what it looks like when it's shittily done, and this is not one of those moments. This was brilliant. This is a moment for this child to understand that, yes, you could do whatever you want. You could run out on that field right now, but there will be ramifications and you will accept them because you will not have a choice because your body is going to ache for quite some time after this. So, yes, great lesson by the parents. I wish I saw more of this. The lesson is called fuck around and find out. Thank you. Thank you. Gabe, would you allow your children to do this? No, but I've learned that... um... You don't actually have any control of your kids. All you can do is tell them what you think right and wrong looks like, and then they're going to just do whatever the hell they want to do. And then that is you just fair. have to help with the consequences. So help I'm sure the, the parents of this child are mortified. And uh, Do you think? You know, well, he didn't even really seem he sh- – I couldn't tell who that was. Didn't have much of a message. This just looked like a bit of a joyride that ended poorly. 
I mean, it's just like at least the you know the kid, the guy who Bobby Wagner laid out was he knew the risk reward. That was great. I've watched that a thousand more times. Yeah, this kid didn't get very far. First of all, so you might want to work on that. Somebody <clears throat> told him he was fast. What I'm seeing is some dad in khakis and a is the guy that took him out ultimately. So, yeah, I don't know. Might want to work on that. He might have been delusional on how far his skills were going to take him in this run, and they didn't also, take him very far. I think you got to. I think you got to be really smart about who you are fucking around with in life. So, a couple people. True. This isn't the, an exhaustive list, but a couple people who are looking to get aggression out and don't have as many chances as they would like are football players and security guards. Yes, they're they're Especially. just to be the kind of people who love hitting shit. Like, don't tempt them. Security guards especially, because they are oh. sick and tired of being called Paul Blart all day, yep. every day. <laughs> they don't want to hear about it. They're not They're not like, you know, cheap cops, whatever. So, yeah, if I'm a security guard, that's the moment that I've been waiting for my whole life. Yeah, or they're <laughs> off-duty cops or ex-military, and they're like, God, Ooh. it was awesome when I could just beat people up. <laughs> and now they're, like, waiting. They're just waiting for some idiot yes. like you. Shark don't in the water. Don't give them a chance. Exactly. Or do, because I enjoy the videos. Please do. <laughs> uh, taking a quick break. We'll be back. I've already skipped ahead, and I hate what I'm seeing, Paige. Okay. Good tease. <laughs> All right, we are back. I um, There are certain words when they're in the lineup or that I my eyes just go to, and these next three are hurting me, Paige. Go. Fat Bear Week. We <sighs> all know. It's week. been going on. It started last week. Fat Bear uh, Winner is announced tomorrow, which is actually today because that's when this episode comes out. But that's Brilliant. not what I'm here to talk about. I need everyone to know that last episode we spent a lot of time talking about cheating scandals. And it's come to my attention <laughs> that Fat Bear Week is not immune to scandals <laughs> and cheating. Oh, good. Okay? Me. Thousands. Okay? Thousands of fraudulent votes were sent in to Fat what? Bear Week. How? Yeah. I don't know. Computers. Don't ask me. They have since yes. been discarded, so you can rest easy. Oh, um, well, yeah. <laughs> But I just needed you to let you know. And then but remember months and months ago we talked about Otis? Yes. The, like really so Otis unfortunately will not be this year's Fat Bear Week winner. He was voted out over the weekend. Wow. See, we yeah. build him up just to tear him back down. Otis was on top Classic. of the world. And now we're like, okay. Yeah, Otis got too big for his britches. He got a little cocky. Otis is out. I could see that. Yeah, well not too big. I don't understand how that's you that's why he didn't win. That's true, he wasn't big enough. But I don't understand how you could cheat on this. Like, when I voted, it was like, vote once, boom, move on to the next thing. Like, wasn't I don't know, it... bots? Somebody figured out, that's what they spent their time on, was how to fraudulently, fraudulently vote on a that's fat right. bear wheat competition. That's Man. Right. We're not going to make that's it to right. 2029. I can't wait. It's going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be good. Well. I hope there's fires. <laughs> Sorry. I think it's <laughs> probably good that uh, the extent of this fraud was just like probably internet bots and nobody tried to get an anal bead up the butt of a bear. <laughs> uh, that makes no sense, but... I think it makes total like sense it. and provides a visual that I enjoy. So, oh, yes, yeah, thank it. you. <laughs> um, I just want America to know I have not watched this episode, this week's episode of House of the Dragon, so if there was some hot, sexy incest, I don't have a report yet. <laughs> But I will. I will. <laughs> I just want to make sure y'all know I'm not dropping the ball. I will be watching it tonight, and I will get back to you on that. Um, but we have a. T what, what are we doing on? What are we doing this week, Paige? Our uncles. What's happening? <laughs> Our uncle. <laughs> no, Uncle Dave already reached out to me. Uh, I'm in oh, trouble. Wait. What, <laughs> what did Uncle Dave say? I told you it was going to be on Facebook too. He what did says, I say? Yeah. You up? <laughs> you got you up? What are you wearing? <laughs> you kiss like your dad. That's his brother. <laughs> That's just everybody wants to know. Uh, <laughs> oh, fucking, my okay. mentions have been horrible because of you, Beetle. I can't even imagine well, what it's like in great. yours. I don't know. I don't see him. It's beautiful. It's an ignorance is bliss situation, and it's mm. how I live my life. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll get on that. Um, Zach Harper's coming on this week. Does he? Oh, I hope he's watching House of the Dragon. I don't know. We'll find out. Because NBA starts in 17 seconds, which is crazy to me that the season's already upon us. So Zach will be our guest on Thursday. Um, that'll do it for us today. As a reminder, we will take your voicemails and then put them in our own words and then read them out loud through Paige's voice. Uh, 631-397-0403 is the best way and really the only way to reach us unless you want to be a creeper and try to WhatsApp us. That's weird. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. We'll see you all in the next. Oh, Gabe, you have something to say on the way out? 
You have dumb I just, face. I'm confused because I didn't look at the rundown. We just went 40-something minutes, and the words Draymond Green and Jordan Poole were never spoken. Nah, we were past that. Okay. We're way past it's, that. That's old news. Yeah, it's old okay. news, bro. It's old news. Taking a vacay. Man. Got to hit that Got hit that fat bear <laughs> scandal. I stand by Fat Bear Week. I fat stand by Paige standing by Fat Bear. Fat Bear is forever, and it also includes all of us. It's inclusive. Good night. Goodbye. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>